Macho Mandalorian is here. Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? Django Fett here, hunting down games, comics, TV shows, movies, and more. And this is a review of the Dishonored comic series. This series came out in August through October with a paperback coming out pretty soon at the end of November. Now this series is set before the events of Dishonored 2 and is set 15 years after the events of Dishonored 1 where the hero Corvo and saves the Empress Emily Caldwin from the clutches of evil. Pretty much a two-year gap between the comics and Dishonored 2 video game. Now the series focuses on Corvo Otano, the hero from Dishonored 1, and is the royal protector of Emily Caldwin now, who is now the Empress. Now it focuses on Corvo, who is on his own journey to find out if there's like a scheme going on in the background to destroy the Empire. And with also a new character with an apprentice to Corvo, who is not Emily Caldwin by the way, and tries to find Corvo and save him. But it doesn't focus on Emily Caldwin at all, which is a huge deal breaker to me. But if you're expecting her to be in this series, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. Sorely disappointed. Which is a bummer because I was expecting Emily to actually be in the series in the first place because it's Corvo and Emily and Dishonored 2. And I want to know more of Emily's story, and I really pretty much know about Corvo. Now, there is going to be a book called The Corroded Man, which is coming out at the end of November. And it's going to focus on Emily Caldwin and Corvo. So, there's that. It's going to be a prequel to Dishonored 2. So, I am going to be reading that, and we'll be giving you guys a review of that book, surely. It is a bummer that Emily's not in it, but with Corvo... You know how this guy is. This guy is a pure badass. And seeing him in action in this series, kick ass, is a sight to behold. It's pure awesomeness. It's pure fun. Now, as a story, Corvo is just going off on his journey to find out the plot that is going on. And there's also a connection with the Dishonored 1 DLC, which is really great, by the way. Please play that, by the way, as well. And connects the Witches of Brigamore to this comic series and it's going to connect with the Dishonored 2 video game because I already know who the villain is anyway. Plus you have Corvo's apprentice who eventually goes, uh, tries to save Corvo but encounters a character from Dishonored 1 DLC. That was as non-spoiler as I could be. Try to be as vague as I can. But it's got this great artwork that really captures this, the whole game, Dishonored 1, and the whole steampunk aesthetic. It captures it perfectly. The artwork is so meticulously done. It's not colorful, it's a, it's bleak and bloody and that's how Dishonored is, man. That's how it's truly shown. And the world itself, the world is just so perfectly done. As well as the characters and their own attire, it just fits the steampunk aesthetic perfectly. And I love steampunk. I mentioned this in my Dishonored 1 review. Please check out that review, by the way. And has Corvo, you know, kicking ass with the swords as well as using his powers as well in full motion. That's how it is in the video game. You can tell these guys, these creators definitely did a lot of work and definitely played a lot of the video game to give us this comic series. Now, what's great, too, is if you're into single issues, there's four different covers for each issue gonna be pretty hard for you to get all of them it's gonna be really expensive if you're a big-time collector of Dishonored but there is that as well I think the artwork is what captures me to this whole comic series because I just couldn't lift my eyes off at any point throughout this story the story wasn't as great as I wanted it to be but the artwork and just seeing it all in motion connect just so brilliantly done. If you're a Dishonored fan, you're gonna love what they did with this series as a whole. But there are some flaws with the story. I just didn't think it was just as connecting as it should have been for Dishonored to the video game. It doesn't really connect too many events and wasn't as captivating like, oh, I need to play the Dishonored 2 video game now. It just doesn't do that for you when you read this series, unfortunately. It's not a bad series by any means, but that, that thing, that story element kind of bugs me, and not having Emily Caldwin in is a bummer. So I'm giving the Dishonored comic series a...
I highly recommend it. If you're a Dishonored fan like myself, you gotta get this series. You gotta get this series. Uh, just, you know, more of Corvo kicking ass, brilliantly done artwork. You gotta have this in your collection. Plus, you might be ahead of the game once you play Dishonored 2. Like, oh, I got that moment. That was in the comic. Yeah, this and that. And, hey, you'll be ahead of the game. And I will be reading the book as well. I just ordered the book, and I will be reading that, The Corroded Man. Also, guys, please check out my Dishonored 1 game review. I will emphasize that again. Really love that game. Please check out my review when you get a chance. A link will be down below in the description. And don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Django Fett. And I'll see you, my fellow Mandalorian, my Mandalorian brothers and sisters, next time. Oh, yeah!